Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, we will be solving a word problem question. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. And also liking and commenting on this video will make YouTube to recommend it to other people. Basically, word problem questions are considered among the simplest questions in mathematics. The only thing that makes them to be complicated are the words. So there are some conditions you need to overcome before you could be able to solve any word problem question. Number one, you need to understand the question entirely. Number two, you need to know how to transform those words into mathematical operations or equations. The third one is to examine the expression or equation and know exactly the right approach. So now let's get started. This question says, a man is X years old while his son is Y years old. The sum of their ages equal to Y's the difference of their ages. And the product of their ages is 675. We are asked to find their respective ages. So how can we tackle this question? Okay, we are going to follow this question line after line and see how we can transform it into some equations. All right, a man is X years old. So the man has X years. His son has YS. We're going. But we learned that the sum of their ages, sum meaning addition. So we are going to add their ages together before we continue reading the question. So the ages will be X plus Y for the father and his son. But after adding these ages together, we learned that it is going to be equal, okay, look at this, equal twice, whatever it is that is going to be twice, double. Twice. The difference of their ages, difference, definitely you know that the father's age will be greater so let's start with the father's age. We say x minus y because we are talking about difference. To find the difference of every two numbers is to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So right here we have formed an equation which we can expand this if we like. We can say x plus y is equal to, you distribute this number into this parenthesis we have 2x minus 2y and we can call this one equation 1 then we continue reading the question it says that the product of their ages is 675 product you know is multiplication it means that if we multiply their ages together we shall obtain 675 years so x multiply by y xy is equal to 675 this is another equation equation 2 all right now we have formed two equations what do we do next look at this equation one we can bring the like terms together you can see this negative 2y if you take it to the left it becomes positive so we may have y okay let me write it from equation one we can bring this backward already we have y there bringing negative 2y back it becomes positive to y to the right we already have 2x there if you take x to the right it becomes negative so we have negative x let's continue to the other side Simplify this, we have 3y's and to the right we have 2x minus x is just a single x. 
this is another equation formed from equation one but from equation two we can see x multiplied by y is exactly 675 so we can substitute the value of x in that equation as 3y so wherever we see x we replace it with 3y so you write from equation equation 2 instead of writing xy you can write it as 3y multiplied by y because you can see x is equal to 3y here and we already have y to the other side then we multiply them together all this will give us 675 this becomes 3y squared equals 675 to, to get rid of this coefficient we can divide both sides by that so y squared will be equal to let me divide this number by 3 we have 675 divided by 3 and this gives us 225 so we have 225 remember y is that of the son we want to find his age his age is not y square rather y so we're going to take the square root of both sides to eliminate this power of 2 you know normally we do used to add plus or minus but this time around we are going to only consider the positive sign because we do not have a negative age only positive age so y finally is equal to 15 and this 15 is in years so you can see the age of the sun is 15 now let us go ahead and find the age of uh, the father which equation can we use you can see x represent the, the age of a father so we can substitute this 15 in this equation to obtain the age of the father so this is for son son's age is 15 years so now let us go ahead and find that of the father for the father which is x you can see it from equation 3 from equation 3 um, x will be equal to 3y and um, y is already 15 so we can say that x is equal to 3 multiplied by 15 and x finally is equal to 3 multiplied by 15 which is 45 and hence the age of the father is 45 years so you can see we have obtained their corresponding ages for the son is 15 years and for the father is 45 years now let us see whether this is true um, from this equation number two it says that if you multiply the age of the father and that of the son you shall obtain 675 so now I want to do that here 15 multiplied by 45 is exactly 675 which is true and now we can test the other one it says if we take the difference of the ages so what is the difference of the ages the difference of the ages is uh, 30 because if you subtract uh, 15 from 45, you shall obtain 30. And 30 multiplied by 2 is 60. So is the sum equal to 60? Yes, if you add 45 and 15, you shall obtain 60 years. And 60 years is exactly equal to 2 multiplied by um, 45 minus 15. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.